Today, guys, we are going to be talking about a 1985 classic. It's probably a film that a lot of you don't know. It's called Demons, directed by Lamberto Bava, and it's produced by Dario Argento, who's one of the best Italian filmmakers of all time, known for his giallos, so he's a really good master of macabre to be attached to the project. The basic plotline of Demons is very simple. It's about these random people that were just kind of picked to be um, the first ones to see this mysterious movie and they soon figure out that they are all trapped in the movie theater with a bunch of ravenous demons. The plot isn't really what you come for. It's really just a rock and roll splatter fest. It's really just to be a display of the incredible practical effects of the time. The soundtrack kicks ass too. The characters, I probably couldn't even tell you their names. They're probably just disposable. The acting's kind of disposable as well. <laughs> you don't really care about the acting when you go into a movie called Demons. It's just to be fun and exciting and it delivers on all fronts to horror fans, which is why I wanted to talk about it on day two of the 31 Days of Horror. Also, I wanted to throw in a non-American movie. I don't want to do 31 Days of just all American-made horror films, so I threw in an Italian movie, Italian horror. If you guys are not familiar, definitely go check it out, um, because there's so many Italian horror movies that are so good. Um, I'm also going to be talking about Suspiria, that's directed by Dario Argento um, very soon too, so be looking out for that. Giallos uh, of the time are just unmatched. They just had great camera work. The colors are popping in this movie, um, and they, they're just so vibrant. It's so vibrant looking, you know, and it's just... The movies are just so visually striking and intriguing. Demons is up there as one of my favorite horror films of all time. It's got elements of a zombie movie, um, but it's not. Obviously, they're all bloodthirsty demons that are trying to kill all these random people. It plays with elements of the zombie genre, but it turns on its head. So it's not like Dawn of the Dead or anything like that. It's got some interesting kills in here too. Uh, the stuff that you're probably not going to be expecting, stuff that you will be surprised by for the time. During the 1980s, you know, you had some pretty gruesome kills through a bunch of slashers, but this kind of takes a lot of them and makes them look like nothing. Like I said before, I am also going to be doing a review for the original Suspiria directed by Dario Argento, just because I am a big fan of Italian horror, so be looking out for that. I'll catch you guys next time.